These incredible voices belong to Voices of Hope. The all-volunteer group has been raising money to fight cancer for 11 years. This virtual cabaret was created because of COVID-19. So we put out there, hey, you're home, do a song. Founder Greg Chastain says so many contributed, it turned out to be three hours long. We had a watch party on Facebook chatting and, and while it's going on. Members have been doing their best to support one another through the COVID-19 crisis. Typically, they're together all the time. They rehearse two to three times a week, preparing for performances of all types. Big shows have ranged from Fiddler on the Roof to Titanic. For Hamilton, they mastered rapping. We gotta go, we gotta get the job done. Before coronavirus, they were working on tapping. This year, we were gonna present Anything Goes uh, last weekend. And this show was uh, going to be a lot of fun because it's our first like big tap show. Sidelined for now due to social distancing, the show is going on online. It's the greatest brownie known to man. That marathon cabaret show was shared with doctors and nurses at MGH. Cancer hasn't taken a holiday through this, so uh, neither will we. They're sitting at the showing the patients the cabaret as they're sitting there with their treatments. Patients dealing with those treatments alone. That's been difficult for the Voices of Hope members, too. The isolation coronavirus has claimed the lives of several loved ones of the group. Where you can't go and be with their families, that's really been the hard part, is not being able to grieve properly for them. No rain, no rain. Still, Greg says helping each other through the hardship has made their bond even stronger. It's really brought us uh, much closer than, uh, than I think uh, we ever have been. And that's, that's the part that I'm taking away from it. Voices of Hope is in the middle of their March to a Million. Since 2009, they've raised more than $780,000 for cancer research. Coronavirus is making fundraising much more difficult, but they still hope to get to that goal of a million dollars by next year. Find out more on WCVB.com. Erica Tarantel, WCVB News Center 5.